Hey guys, so I am at YVR Airport. I'm about to head to FCO, Fiumicino in Rome via Munich on Lufthansa. So why am I going? I'm heading to Rome to be part of the opening ceremonies of the Synod on Synodality. It's this fancy church word. The word Synod comes from this idea from the scripture passage where Mary and Joseph lose Jesus in the temple because they thought that he was in the crowd from Nazareth to Jerusalem and back. They thought he was lost in that crowd or in that group of travelers. And the word that they have in the scriptures for that group of travelers is synodia or synod, which literally means journeying together, walking together. So this whole idea of synodality of the synod is this idea that we as a church were meant to walk together. We're meant to journey together, that all of life is a pilgrimage, that as a missionary church, that we're meant to walk together as a church. We're supposed to come beside with one another. So. This synod, which is supposed to take place over the next three years, is meant to be the beginning, an exploration and the very idea of, a, of synodality and how can the Roman Catholic Church around the world be a more synodal church. So, very interesting. I have more questions than really answers than my own understanding about how this all works and how this changes anything and how this will define the church, but very excited. Uh, I'm also going as part of my appointment to the International Youth Advisory Body, which I'm very excited for, so I'm going to be myself and my desire for this trip and for any of my future involvement in Italy and in Rome is simply just to proclaim the gospel, to share my faith with people, to talk about Jesus. I'm going to offer and see if God wants me to pray with people and just to pray for an infilling of the Holy Spirit and if God wants to heal people through my interactions, I want to add value. So I'm super excited to take you on my journey with me. I'm going to take some footage, hopefully going to meet Pope Francis and meet some new friends. So we just landed in Munich. I'm gonna be taking the connecting flight to Rome and then thus it begins. So interesting to hear different languages through the airport, hearing German, hearing Italian. I'm super excited to be meeting people from all over the world and seeing what the local church is like from wherever people are. This whole journey started about two years ago when there was this event known as the International Youth Forum where they wanted representatives from part of the world to come to Rome for a meeting to follow up on the, the document and the synod on youth that the church had just gone through. And so I went on that trip. I was selected by, well, the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops wanted a representative from CCO who was not yet 30. And so CCO chose me because I was not yet 30 at the time and I had time to go. So I got to go to Rome for about a week and I went with my, made a new friend Kat Diaz, who's also from Canada, the other representative, and she, it's funny, they selected two candidates from Canada who were both Filipino. She's from Montreal, but we, we became good friends as a result. And then, yeah, and then it was a good week, and then from there, I gave a report to the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops. A year later, I was given an invitation to be part of the International Youth Advisory Body, which in Pope Francis's document on the youth, Christus Vivit, called for an international body of youth to advise on issues pertaining to the youth, that the youth would have a voice in the church. And so this is part of that, that I am part of the voice of the youth, one of 20 people worldwide selected to be part of this. I never applied for any of this, never necessarily ask for any of this, but it was in a sense the grace of God that I was chosen. So I said yes and I'll be serving, well, it was a three-year appointment and I served one year remotely. This is the second year and so there's likely one more year before it all wraps up. So excited to introduce you to different people. Looking forward to seeing how else it goes. Some friends waiting for some more, and then we'll hit 
walk into the city. It is crowded in this airport. You think there's no pandemic. Here we are. <laughs> nice CIAM. And there's the view. <laughs> I could have today for birthday, not because the presence of each and every one of you, but also because each of you for me is like a presence of God and of God's providence and uh, proof that his miracles and his plans are always bigger than our plans, but also bigger than our prayers. So thank you for being such a good <laughs> This is where we're staying. This is the Centra Internazione Animazione de Mission CIAM. This is our view, which is incredible. This is my friend Tillin from Slovenia, Makoto from Japan, Brenda from Boston. <laughs> Boston! Boston! <laughs> yeah, we're just, it's day one. There's Rodrigo. And then the life of the party, Emil. <laughs> Some notables, all the red hats are cardinals. I saw Cardinal Tagway earlier, Archbishop Gagnon. Good start so far. We're about to get started with the opening ceremonies. Had some good chats, saw some other fellow Canadians. Hope to meet some more. Hope to chat with uh, His Eminence, Cardinal Tagway of the Philippines at some point. We just had a small group in Pope Paul VI Hall. It was an interesting small group. I sat right next to the Archbishop of Los Angeles, Archbishop Jose Gomez. I was with the Archbishop of- You were with Martin? Oh, yeah, like great. I was sitting next to him. Awesome. It was fun times, yeah. So it was really, really interesting to be in a small group um, with, you know, Cardinal of Pakistan and yeah, Archbishop Jose Gomez. And it was an interesting experience. Like it was a lot, it was a very like familiar experience for me in which we're sitting together, we're sharing and we're trying to listen to the Holy Spirit and we're sharing what images and phrases are coming up to us. and. We're trying to seek a common thread, a common synthesis of what God's saying to us. And, and we were going to submit that. And that, it's really, so it's really encouraging that the process that I'm familiar with is something that, yeah, that the global church is trying to adopt and, and put into process. So, there you go. Figure out a place to eat. We're at the Centro de San Lorenzo. Tillin is tired, needs some coffee. We decided to sit down. And then after this, we got a visit to the Vatican Museum. I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to have my camera there. You are? Even inside the uh, Sistine Chapel? No photo, no camera. <laughs> no photo, no video. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs>
Vatican Museum. I am super jet lagged. Bushy. I probably won't be filming this tomorrow because of the mask, but truly beautiful. Something else. Justin was killed here and uh, just uh, kept here for 200 years. It is around 10 meters beneath this level as we are now. So if you go down to the creek left and right, and you can go down, but it is very difficult to let me ask you. That's it. Classic tradition. Yeah, okay. St. Peter. Okay. We're randomly hanging out with a Serbian Archbishop who's just bringing us everywhere. So he got us in the statue of St. Peter where we could venerate the foot, which is like a traditional pilgrim pilgrimage thing and just prayed for some friends there and which nobody else was allowed to do because it was like walled off. What's your diocese? Uh, beautiful name, Zrenjanin. 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 It is the last diocese in the... Vatican has a list of all the dioceses of the world and my diocese is the last. <laughs> the, the first shall be last. Zr, Zr, Z, R, T, R. How big they are. So, comparing to you can get to go see John Paul II, not this time, but next time. So this is where five, more than five years ago, six years ago now, six years ago now that I met the Holy Father with my wife for the first time, just behind me here. So this, they're not doing gatherings here as much. A lot of it's happening for politics hall, but yeah, I'm gonna show you some Swiss Guard. Church is done, this is what we're like. Yes. <laughs> we should really go. We should really go. Dinner's at seven, guys. Dinner's at seven. So we're having a hard time leaving, right, Thielen? We have our mother, Brenda, who is doing some random photographing, so like nothing is happening because we're meeting, missing our mother. Yep. Mother Crazy. Brenda. Mother Brenda, when are we leaving? Moses. <laughs> Let's go guys! He's finally here. Uh, he spent how long in Dubai? <laughs> Too long. Your, your pilgrimage was to Dubai, not to Rome. 